Hey guys, this is Lewis from CCG here to talk about MOP, some troubleshooting for the beta. Immediately after getting the beta, I was excited and downloaded it right away. It started updating tools with the little gray box thing and started to install, not really because it crashed right after trying to install. So my journey began. First thing is, if you have an installation error immediately as like immediately once the installer opens that means you need to turn off if you are running on windows I don't know for Macs if you're running on windows you need to turn off windows defender for some reason it does not like to communicate with their servers properly and it just it's like no screw you while wow, you're not playing doesn't matter just get out so turn that off I know some of you may not want to because you are not tech savvy at all and think viruses will just spluge in because they can for whatever reason that's not gonna happen just don't go on porn sites and stuff while this is off if that's your only antivirus and you won't have any problems because WoW is not going to give you a virus and if it does well call me crazy anyway it once you fix that it will install properly and I did have an issue however that the gray box that said updating tools the window that pops up right before the installer does it froze at about two-thirds percent and to troubleshoot this all i did was re-download the client reinstall like i deleted the folder that it had installed like wow had installed in i deleted that reinstalled mop and it worked or the downloader i reinstalled the downloader and it worked but once I got to the downloader, here was trouble number three. You get to the downloader and you have a whopping speed of 40 megabyte kilobytes a second, which is like awesome if you're on dial-up. And I'm not on dial-up. I'm on T1 or something. I don't know. It's just ridiculously fast. I should be downloading at like 20 megabytes a second, not 20 kilobytes a second. So I just went through the forums, saw what I could find, couldn't really find anything, and then lo and behold, something for like League of Legends showed me an idea, which I was, whatever, I figured I would try. And this, what you do is, if you have Internet Explorer on your computer, and it might not just be Internet Explorer, it just might be the Internet Options, because you can change this in Internet Options, whatever the case, go to Control Panel, go to Internet Options. Once you're in Internet Options, you need to go to the Connections tab. In the Connections tab, there is a button at the very bottom that says LAN Settings. Click on LAN Settings. Once you're in there, there's going to be a box that's checked at the very top. This box says Automatically Internet Something Settings. I don't remember. Uncheck that box. Press OK. Apply. Whatever it is. And you should see your download speed spike up. If it still hasn't, it might be because you're on player to, or person to person download, which for whatever reason doesn't work very well in WoW through my experience so you may want to turn that off and if it still doesn't work you need to call your internet provider because you probably are on dial-up and that's just ridiculous I, I don't know what to tell you okay so I got in it was great hokey dandy dory and you get in and you get a screen that looks a little like <laughs> So you get into this, and I, whatever, you guys can see, that's great. And you get here, remember, log in, and it'll give you this screen right here. So I clicked WoW 1, it was mistake number 50 on this journey. Don't click WoW 1, click whatever the highest number is, because if you go into account management when you see the license, right underneath the license, is which WoW it is. It'll say in like a really light gray in brackets WoW 2, WoW 3, WoW 1 maybe. WoW 1 was my PTR so it was trying to connect me to servers that were not right. WoW 2 was the MOP license which connected me to the correct servers. So if you're trying to connect and you don't see two servers either Gilneas or Lost Isles you are on the wrong account and you need to switch which one you're using. So I got in here 
And instead of saying, like, okay, I get to the character realm, and I'm like, okay, I want to go on the low server. And so I go herp derp, and it got stuck at logging or connecting to server or something like that. And I could not for the life of me find out why. I, I changed a few settings, and I just... After a few minutes, I realized that maybe, just maybe, it might have to do with this button I checked, IPv6. And I don't know why it does this, because if it's not available on my computer, I, internet provider, I don't know how that works. If IPv6 isn't on there, it shouldn't run or try and run it. But it was anyway, so after I unchecked it, it was immediately able to check, like, connect to the server was able to make a character and everything. So if you have this box checked, uncheck it because life would be amazing if you do. Another thing I found was the API uh, DirectX 11 does not function properly on MLP. It may be my computer, but in the live client currently I can run DirectX 11 and I'll have beautiful frame rates that are not even necessary of 120. I run it in MLP and I go from 5 to 2 to 30 to 60 to 20 to just all over the place every few seconds so it's bugged. I'm just gonna say it's bugged. If you're having frame rate issues like that turn off uh, DirectX 11 and you should be fine. If you're still having frame rate issues turn off shadows. If that's still the case then just turn off everything just don't even play the game walk away. I, just, I don't even know what to tell you. Lastly this one kind of made me upset. Don't mess with the sound quality. Don't mess with the audio channels. And don't click this or that. Just just don't do it. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, the reason I say this is because I'm pretty sure it's not my computer. Because if it was my computer, it would have crashed WoW entirely. But it didn't crash well entirely. Instead, it disconnected me from the server if I even moved or I changed these settings. Like, I, I couldn't... When I had the settings there, I pressed escape. And it was just like, okay, I'm going to move. Nope, disconnect. I get back on. I'm like, okay, maybe it was just a bug. Move again. Nope, disconnect. Try it one more time. Guess what? Same thing happened. So I changed the settings back. And I didn't have that issue anymore. And it's both of these. It's not just one or the other, at least I think, because either one change just makes it crash for whatever reason, so change that. Um, there are a few other issues. I mean, uh, this if you get popped into one of these dungeons, um, it kind of... I had a crash error, and I don't know how to tell you to fix that. You just keep trying to reconnect and eventually work. I, there's going to be kinks in this game. It's really early on. So I, whenever I find out new fixes, I'll let you guys know because I guarantee the other 800,000 people out there that are playing this game right now are getting frustrated at certain things. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped or you liked the video, just like the video and possibly subscribe because subscribers help, and it's great. Thanks, guys.